Hello folks, it's Jose here for WP Basics with another tutorial. In today, today's tutorial, I'm going to go over one of my favorite plugins. It's a go-to plugin for pretty much every website that I develop using the Genesis framework. That plugin is called the Genesis Visual Hook Guide. Now basically what it helps you do is, let's say, uh, let's go back here to uh, my code. Let's say I've created a widget area already and I've added it to my starter theme. Here's the function right here. It's called Genesis Sample Theme Homepage Widgets. And I want to put a widget area at the top of my page uh, somewhere ar around. Let's see. Let's go to. I want to put it up here. But how do I do that? I, I, it would be really nice if I knew which um, hook to use. Well, that's what this plugin helps you do. So let's get started, first of all, as to how to install that plugin, and we'll take it from there, okay? So first of all, we just go into our dashboard, and we look for a plugin called Genesis Visual Hook Guide. So we take that plugin. Uh, give me one second while I look for that. I, I just did it wrong, so let's do it again. So let's search for it. Here it is, the very first result by Christopher Cochran. So let's install that bad boy. So that's activated. As you can see, what it does right away once we activate it, which it's right here, we can just refresh it just to make sure it's there. We go here to our, our web page, and you can see right away that we get this G hook guide. So now what it does is it gives us a number of selections. And the selection that I use most often is this thing called action hooks. So just click on that. And what you get is a whole bunch of uh, hook uh, that are laid out for you. So you just have to uh, pick that one that you want. And uh, then you can decide where to put your hook or your, or your widget area. So I want my uh, widget area. It's a slider that I created to go just directly after the header. So let's copy this Genesis after header. Just double click on it, copy it. And then we can go back to our text editor. And here where I've created my little action. So I have an action here. This is the hook that I have yet to define. And this is the function that I want to hook to this um, hook. So then we highlight this and just paste the hook that we copied, Genesis after hook, Genesis after header, I should say. Let's save that, okay, we save that. And then we can go back to our page. Uh, we can get rid of this Genesis hook, clear it, just clear it. And we refresh it and there you go. It's hooked there right away. Now let's say we wanted to, re to move it somewhere else. Let's say we've changed our mind. We don't want it there. We want it somewhere else. We can just go back to our hook guide. And let's say I wanted it to go just before this so let's just say genesis um hmm. so we've turned on our hook guide again and let's say we wanted to move this uh down below this section so all we'd have to do is copy we can use this one genesis this before footer copy it and then we go back to our text editor put it here and save it Let's go back to our page. Let's go to hook guide, clear it. And you can see it's that easy. We've moved it down and you can move it around easily because now you can see exactly where the where the hooks are. Just to, It's that simple. You just click on hooks. If you wanted it before the header, you would put it before the header. Well, let's even try that just quickly just to show you how easy this, this uh, plugin makes everything. So we put that there, save it. We uh, re close the guide, and there it is. It's before the header now. It's that easy to move it around with the Genesis Visual Hook Guide, and that is one of my favorite go-to plugins. Well, I hope you like this brief tutorial. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.